It's Teacher Appreciation Week and all week long we are highlighting some of the amazing educators in our area and finding out what issues are important to them. Yeah, most of the schools in our area are diverse. You know this, but you also know there aren't a lot of black male educators out there. Our Marcella Robertson recently sat down with two teachers from our community to find out what their presence in the classroom means to their students. You know, being a black educator who's male, who's in early childhood, that speaks a lot. It's really not about me, but it's about in certain ways of representation of having the idea of seeing someone like me in the classroom. For many of my students, this may be the only opportunity that they have to have someone like me as part of their lives. In a um, culture that has traditionally kept black men in this, 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 kept this idea of us being very aggressive and very one-dimensional, very anti-intellectual, almost animalistic, for all of these kids, regardless of their color, to be in the care of a black male teacher and, and literally the care of where you are listening to them, you're remembering the things that they have endured, at, you know, and, the, and often showing up for it. Um, I think that that is an extremely powerful thing. Yeah, the power of a role model like mm -hmm. that, there's really nothing like it. It's priceless. So thank you, Mr. Raddatz Carter and Mr. Johnson makes such a difference. When you have someone out there who looks just like you and they, they understand what that lived experience is, is going to be like. And we know their classrooms have to be amazing because yeah. what they shared with uh -huh. us just right there was just so touching.